Hi, Rocket Lachlan here. I want to take you through Yuri Malmsteen's fantastic band shoulder mobility routine. When I learned this at Coach Summer's workshop, um, I thought it was fantastic, and since then I've been refining it hugely. Um, we've made a few little changes to it. I hope Yuri approves, and no doubt comment if he doesn't. Um, but this I've found in my own shoulders to be absolutely sensational. And many of you know that I've had a problem here with the long of bicep tendon in this shoulder for many years, as a result of a boxing accident. And this has, I can honestly say, this and the stick stretch have completely rehabilitated my shoulders. So this, this is how I'm going to turn away from you in a second, um, but and just watch my shoulder. But before you begin, it's key to understand that the shoulder is capable of a number of fundamental movements. One is this elevation, which is also important in handstands. The other is depression, that's pulling using lats and pecs to pull the shoulder down. Another, and I'll just turn side on to show you, is this forward movement here where the shoulder blade moves around the ribcage and we add this effort to it, we get an action called protraction. And another one that we get is when the shoulder blade is pulled back like this. And the essence of this band sequence is to traction the arm, so the joint itself is distracted as the terminology has it. The arm is pulled out of the body and then we move the shoulder through a full range of potential movements and then as a separate action, we then draw little pictures with the arm. So I do figure of eight usually horizontally and vertically, or you can do circles, or any figure at all, really. Let me show you what it looks like. The first thing is you'll need a band of a suitable thickness. This is about the right way for me. Reach the hand through like this, and then stand back like this to put the shoulder on the track and just shuffle away a little bit further. Now, the action is to reach the band away from you, as I'm doing and that uses trapezius to stretch the distance dorsi, the big muscles here, and then watch. Put the shoulder up to the air, back, down, and reach forward. In the reverse direction, pull down, pull back, reach back, up as high as possible, and reach forward. And so, look at the tension of the band, it looked like this in real, real time. Two, three, okay, one. And notice I'm trying to keep my arm as straight as possible. I'm only moving the shoulder at this point in time. So that's the first sequence. And the second sequence, we'll just stay in the same position here, is with the joint under traction, I will put the shoulder in a number of different positions and then draw pictures. So I'll protract, figure of eight, vertically. I'll retract, figure of eight, vertically. I'll lift, figure of eight, vertical figure of eight. Press, figure of eight, vertical figure of eight, like so, and so on. And so that's the first sequence. The second sequence, I'll just turn side on like this. Again, put the joint on a stretch, pull back, reach out, lift up, pull back, reach out, depress the shoulder, pull back, up as high as possible, and to here. And then of course, I'm sure it's obvious where I'm going to go next, reach out, stretch the lats, maybe add a little left reflection to it. And in this position here, those same drawing movements can be added. That, I feel that today, right down over the sacrilege joint. It feels absolutely fantastic. Elevate as high as possible, pull back, pull down under tension, and reach out as far as possible. I'm going to turn the other way now and do a different action. Same, but this time I'm going to be in a different plane, as you can see. Add a few. Turning things. And I'm going to turn the face away from you now. I'll show you a move on the other shoulder from the back.
do it. Wonderful. And now, I'm going to change the band height. Very simple matter if you've got a wonderful set of ladder bars like this. in this direction, watch lift the shoulder, depress the shoulder, lift the shoulder, depress the shoulder, protract, neutral, retract, lift, both directions are now, um, I'll show it looks like on the other side. time I've tied two bands together off the same uh, point and this is the actual exercise that I found helped the long head of bicep tendon so much on my left shoulder so I need a bit more tension to make it really work. So I'm going to put the band under considerable tension like this and then watch shuffle myself away so that this whole line from the center of the pecs here right through the wrist is stretched strongly and then watch. I lift my chest, breathe into this quadrant here Externally rotate the arm and the shoulder joint as much as possible and reach as far as possible. Then twist, twist, internally rotate, internally rotate and watch what happens to the shoulder, keep it internally rotating and the next thing you know the whole shoulder girdle is turned over as well. Put it under a bit more tension and watch this ringing action that some of my colleagues have taken to calling a joint flossing action. Well, I don't know whether it's that, but I can tell you it feels absolutely sensational. And when last I was doing this with my friend Mike Goldfield in Michigan, um, he actually held my arm and walked me away to put the joint under even more tension, and that felt absolutely sensational. So I'll just show you what that looks like on the other side for a moment. You can see it from the back. Walk away, extra, and then bring this right shoulder further back like this to put that whole front line under stretch. Externally rotate internal, 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 roll the whole shoulder over and internally rotate the arm inside the shoulder joint as far as you can. And you can increase the force on the joint by bringing this right shoulder back in this direction. So it's external rotate, neutral, internal. And this is about the speed I do it. And as I get warmer up, warm, warmed up more and more, I bring my right shoulder further back like this. That feels sensational. So there's the basic template for you. Full movement of the shoulder joint itself in whatever range of movement you can take it through, with the arm being pulled out of the shoulder joint by an appropriate um, length and strength band. And once you've got the shoulder in any particular positions, you can draw pictures. So if we go back to that last exercise, and we'll do it back on this arm again, this is, this, what, this is what it would look like. Once you're in position then, watch, looking at this arm, I'm drawing pictures, figure eight in this case, while all this line is under tension. A vertical figure of eight. And I can turn the shoulder in to the internal rotator position and do exactly the same thing. And somewhere, in between these points I'm pausing in and moving the band up and down, somewhere will be a point that's just right for your shoulder. And once you've found a point that feels like it needs some work, put the joint under a bit more tension and practice moving the joint around that tension point and then practice moving the arm inside the shoulder joint when it's in that actual position. Look, I've only shown you the most basic movements, there are thousands more possible, but the key idea is join that attention 
and, and then the maximum amount of movement of the joint and then the arm within the joint. Try this, you will absolutely love this. And Yuri, thank you so much for teaching me this sequence. Thank you.